Hi, thank you for having me here today. My name is Susanne Hahn and uh, I have 20 years experience, corporate experience in the field of um, development, product development, production, HR, IT related topics um, and also business development. Uh, so a broad experience um, all around uh, the automotive industry and I'm happy to give you an overview of what our transformation journey from a corporate innovation hub towards a new tech holding is all about. Um, as you can see on the slide, in 1886, Gottlieb Daimler invented the world's first automobile in Justice Garden House, which you can see on the slide and which he had turned into a workshop. In the 1880s, industrialization was the key driver of innovation. Today, we are facing mega trends such as urbanization, digitization, and sustainability. And paired with the outbreak of COVID-19, they became the engine of innovation. Simultaneously, you can say fast technological progress, new legislation, and social movements pose great challenges to um, companies worldwide and will change not only the automotive industry forever. Driven by such changes, changes and faced with a grave crisis, companies increasingly focus on their core business. This causes not only the German economy and especially in the field of new business, a loss of their innovative drive. 1886 Ventures provides a new solution where efforts can be shared. And this along with lots of energy, synergies and power and commonly shared monetization benefits due to the partnership-based win-win approach. So actually, we are very proud of our logo. Um, the star in our logo shows our roots. 1886 is the year when the car was born. And Gottlieb Daimler developed not only the three-pointed, but also the four-pointed star. Both were registered in 99 by the sons of Gottlieb Daimler. And we slightly turned it by 45 degrees to form an X, which stands for the unknown future, the next big thing for which we are heading every day. But as you can see, we developed it further as we did with our organization from a pure business ideation team in a global incubation lab factory to a new tech holding group, which supports the growth of our daughter affiliates in a perfect way. Our Mercedes-Benz heritage, our founding fathers, Gottlieb Daimler and Carl Benz, and the vision remains. Only the way to achieve this will now be much faster and much more efficient. But before we dig into the new, let's have a look what we achieved so far. Um, we are in the business of successful corporate innovation since 2007. So that means 14 years ago, building the first corporate innovation unit in the industry, that was a very, very progressive decision of our board of management within Daimler. And we are proud that we have been pioneers in that field. I said successful corporate innovation, and let me give you some examples. Um, we ramped up our digital innovation machine, Lab 1886, with a global footprint. Uh, we had offices in Stuttgart, in Berlin, in Atlanta, in Beijing. And in the year 2016, we launched Startup Autobahn, an accelerator program, which became, after just one year, um, Europe's largest mobility startup platform. We introduced, for example, new products um, for our core business like um, Mercedes Me, uh, which is the basic platform for new digital business and sales within Mercedes-Benz ecosystem. And we safeguarded new revenue streams, for example, Daimler remanufacturing. This is about the reuse of spare parts, which we then reintegrated into Mercedes-Benz after sales department, a successful three-digit million business every year. And already in 2016, we were discussing the new vertical takeoff and landing segment in the board of management of Daimler and started a cooperation and investment in Volocopter, the German startup leader in this field. And you might imagine the discussion in those times before the press and all the consultancies recognized that this is not science fiction anymore. So we did it. 
there is one big problem, so to say. Um, corporate innovation struggles at a certain point. We all have seen many corporates developing their own innovation hubs. So they jumped out of the uh, bottom like hell, <laughs> like grass. Uh, but we also know that too many processes and guidelines hinder progress. So therefore, our insight is most of corporate innovation fails within the scale and grow phase, which is here in yellow on the slide. Um, nevertheless, corporate innovation is an option if you aim to make rather internal evolutionary steps by spending quite a lot of resources. But if you really want to make the difference as a company builder, it's not a perfect choice at all. So based on our experience, we see in general four main reasons for that. Um, the, the first is corporate guidelines in the scaling, such as, for example, recruiting gaps or flexible staffing. So you are not so flexible to, to ramp up and ramp down um, your, your stuff. Uh, data security and competition law guidelines, decision processes in general are not fast enough and therefore not as competitive as needed in uh, fast developing markets. And uh, secondly, for a fully dedicated team, a performance-oriented compensation system is needed to switch from corporate employee stuff thinking to real entrepreneurial thinking. Um, third point, external capital is difficult to access because investors, for example, fear the complexity and long-lasting processes within the corporate environment. And last point, fourth, missing software competence. So there is still and there will be a lack also in the future of software competence because in general, the DNA of software developers doesn't fit to the DNA of the core engineering business. And if the knowledge is there, it's being concentrated to the core, but not on new business stuff. So we thought, how can we change the rules in that game? At the end of 2019, I discussed um, the further development of our global in innovation unit lab 1886 with the Daimler and Mercedes-Benz board of management. And we were at a crossroad in that time. So really good ideas, technology, IP rights, products have been developed in cooperation with specialist departments within Daimler AG. We have dealt intensively with the upcoming commercialization plans and a and phase in which it is super important to have an environment in which you can react quickly and flexible to the respective market situation. Cooperation and deals, for example, have to be concluded quickly and easily in a win-win approach. Innovation always means transformation. And from a pure think tank, we have built a global and digital innovation factory with which we run up to 25 projects in parallel together with a core business. Then we transformed ourselves from Lab 1886 into 1886 Ventures, the top 10 projects and ventures and the corresponding assets are into it. So they can now be set up very quickly and uh, flexible. In the new holding structure, our employees also participate in the success of our companies, which is an important prerequisite for acquiring invest opportunities, as said already. So our mission is, or you can see that on, on the slide uh, behind, but in general, our vision is to build new tech companies in best fit partnerships in win-win approaches and offer innovation and transformation services at the same time. This creates a very important synergy effects and perfect advantages also to think big. So here you can see our DNA and the six elements which uh, jointly form the sevens in the middle, a very unique and effective constellation. So I start uh, on the left-hand side, over 30 years, over 30 years of experience as a global software company from our very own shareholder GFT technology, providing a global network of over 6,000 software developers worldwide. 
The cross-industry partnership we bring to the table um, out of our network and the 14 years of experience within new business development with deep corporate and industry backgrounds and on the right-hand side, our trustworthy connection to China and the resultantly easy access for our partners through this excellent network. Top talents who join us from a broad variety of backgrounds, access to smart capital, and our already existing investor network that will be further expanded, of course. So in general, you can say our brand, the team, our mindset of combining performance and fun, our ventures, technology products serve like a magnet for promising startups, talents, investors, and partners. So as I said in the beginning, mega trends changing our society and economy, these trends also create growth areas on which we focusing like green tech, data connectivity or smart mobility. But let me now make it more concrete. So let's have a look at a few examples out of our portfolio. At a Globe Fuel Cell System, we build, for example, smart and fully connected modular fuel cell generators for different markets and different applications. Fuel cell systems will disrupt the diesel generator market completely due to their lower CO2 emissions. Here we are talking about a $68 billion market volume in 2024. We are already developing the prototype in the second generation and gained customers and potential investors. In our Meshworks company, we are developing connectivity technology between vehicles and infrastructure. Our first product, SneakerNet, is market ready and helps, for example, automakers to get digital services, video streaming, games, et cetera, et cetera, use cases with a high data volume into the car in a very smart and cost-efficient way. The trend is a rapidly increasing connectivity demand. Over the next years, and we have a solution with corresponding IP rights to realize this stuff. With um, CARF8, we react to the big trend usage instead of ownership and its fully digitized subscription model. Several studies estimate that nearly 20 million vehicles to be sold via subscription in 2025. In a first step, we will offer a white label solution for a scalable crowds. So on the next slide, we have XYARD. This is a solution for fully automated trucks for yards, for harbors, for mining, for agriculture. And since summer this year, we have operations uh, with six units um, in the Mercedes-Benz biggest logistics center in Germersheim in Germany. With Travel M in the middle, we revolutionize corporate travel management by creating a unique digital platform journey for travelers, and we eliminate travel-related administration costs in the corporate back office completely, completely. We call this travel management as a service, and especially in times of corona, it's perfect point to implement this stuff. And our digital vehicle scanner on the right side detects uh, damages at the car with high speed cameras and applied artificial intelligence. Our system is market ready and runs, for example, in Stuttgart at the dealership. So that was a short overview of what we do at 1886 Ventures and our transformation from industry for industry. Thank you very much. Take care and have a good remaining day. Bye-bye.